OOPG, OOPG. I thought I was done with you, but um, this was way too good to be passed up. Um, so I got a whole bunch of blasters at um, 401 games at uh, Black Friday prices. Um, I'm only going to be doing one kind of late today. I got to get going to work, but I have, I bought the equivalent of a hobby box of well, four, so four blaster boxes. Um, and I also got a quarter box of uh, Upper Deck Series 1 from last year. Um, I also have a hobby box of that that I uh, want to open as well. I got to open as well. Save that for later. I um, was able to trade some base cards on Kijiji. Um, it's been a surprisingly good source for people who, who are looking for base cards. So I traded off about 21, 21 of them for three canvas cards. Um, got Andre Sveshnikov, the Hurricanes, um, Jamie Ben doing some lunges, and we got uh, William Carlson. So this was from Series One, and these are from Series Two. So um, let's uh, let's get it's kind of late, so let's just uh, get to it. gonna do this real quick no um we're just gonna rifle through the base and just go th get get through the hits okay that and got uh jonathan huberto uh predominant florida panthers um the talking about his rookie campaign um I guess he won the Calder Trophy back in 2012-2013. Okay, so I'm going to... I have six packs of Series 1 and five packs of OPG Platinum. We're just going to... We're just going to alternate between the two. I mean, these these were going for. I mean, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks a, bro a box. That's that's like really close to Black Friday prices here. I mean, it's just uh, so I picked these up at uh, four one games, and it, um, this is way too good to pass up. Ooh, got a looks like a violet pixels in the background. Let's do, what do we got here? A rainbow. I got sunset variation. Tuka Rask. Yep. Oh, nice. This is uh violet pixels of Tim Stutzla. So that's that is a great pull. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, numbered here. It's that is that is fantastic. Um, always wondered I did did that whole retail versus hobby hobby thing um, for OPG platinum um, and it's uh, it's kind of split you know it depends on you know with OPG platinum in particular it really comes down to what you're looking for, um, what you're looking for it has an advantage in some way it has oh, Connor McMichael, uh, Young Guns, here. Um, that's probably not a clothing variation. Wait, but did I only get? I didn't get any cards on this. Oh, stuck. Of course. Yeah. I think with when you compare retail to hobby, you get uh, one less insert, and you make up for it with one more retro. Um, you know that it, there's a lot of give and take with retail versus and hobby. Um, so we got a Brett Burns uh, retro and the Blaster exclusive uh, Brian Rust. So I know I have him for. Uh, I have, 
one of the aquamarines that I got. Oh, stop. Oh, jeez. Nobody got time for that. Okay. Artem Zagadulin, uh, Young Guns. Okay. Um, put that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is super sticky. Okay. Switch over to plat Platinum Blaster. Oh, got another interesting card here. Um, Rainbow Kiefer Bellows and uh, Keegan Colasar uh, Retro. So this is these blasters are and uh, Mitch Marner Base and Johnny Hockey. So this is turning out to be a really solid blaster. Um, I still haven't gotten one of the hot packs where there's like. I think I've seen a bunch of stuff opened where it was like three numbered cards or something really ridiculous um, in a blaster. So, okay. Uh, portraits, Alexander Barkov. All right. Um, so these hobby packs um, so far aren't doing aren't doing so well. Um, got the predominant, but otherwise. And got two young guns. I mean, it's not so bad. It's, it's okay, I guess. Um, let's see, what do we got? Another neon yellow surge of Liam Foody um, or Foudy. I'm not totally. I'm not, not sure. And we got a Austin Matthews best in the world. All right, that's it's really neat. Um, yeah, there's a. Retired U.S. women's soccer player who goes by Julie Foudy. So, not sure which one is. I'm not which. which, which I'm not sure which pronunciation is right. Um, all right. So, it's, oh, nobody got time for that. Okay, got another Young Guns of Nicholas Bodin. Um, the rest are probably base. Uh, all right, last platinum blaster. So, okay, pretty much a except for the yellow surge, it's pretty much a base pack for all intents and purposes. All right. Last, got a bunch of young guns this time for uh, for 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 these series one hobby packs. Um, hoping we can get a some sort of hobby exclusive, like one of the big hits. Let's see, oh, fourth young guns out of six packs. Uh, Gabe Velarde, that is. I think that's a good I think that's a good one all right um so there we have it so so today so so just so to recap we got um it's a pretty good pack I mean pretty good box I got uh my three new uh neon yellow surges Brian Rust Liam Foodie, Marky Rookie, Jeff Skinner. Um, got an Austin Matthews Best in the World. One of the best you can get, I guess. Um, a Rainbow Rookie or Rainbow Marky Rookie of uh, Kiefer Bellows. And oh, wait a minute. This looks like it's a retro rainbow of Brett Burns. Yep. Um, got Keegan Colasar, regular. Um, regular uh retro and the big hit got to be has to be Tim Stutzla um marquee rookie 
um, vi uh, violet pixels. Um, you can re really like the um, like really got like the pixelated looks really cool. Really um, eight eight bit. Um, it's definitely really good, really nice. I mean, I don't know, maybe it'd be nice, like, it'd be, I, I, I definitely would think having like some sort of like full on eight bit variation, um, where the player and where the, also the player and all the text is also in, in like some sort of, like some sort of eight bit motif. I think that'd be really cool. Um, and for series one, um, we got a whole bunch of young guns. Um, that um, that's it's all always a good all, always a good thing. You know, you know, you never know if these if a rookie will uh, take a take off or not. So we got Gabe Velarde, um, Nicholas Bodan, um, Artem Zagadul, and Connor McMichael. Um, we got an Alexander Barkov portraits. And a predominant um, hobby exclusive uh, Jonathan Huberto. So, yeah, I mean, I pretty much do them. If I ever buy loose packs, I generally go with like, I usually take like a quarter, probably like a quarter box at a time, just because, you know, it's it's a you know just to give myself a decent chance at getting some hobby exclusives, um, just to kind of justify the extra the hobby premium and all that. So. That was a that was a great that was a pretty good pull I think um, that's it I've got um, I've got some I, I definitely have some more I, as you saw early, earlier in the video there's much much more to pull from these sets from these sets as well um, I might pick up another hobby box of platinum if I can find it at a good price um, I've got also um, a I also have so for Friday I'm gonna do uh, I have another subscription box box that came in the mail, um, so I will do that, and uh, yeah, have a good day.